So we're going to start with this 4050 gloss from Createx. That's the first thing that I start with in my mixing cup. And unfortunately, unlike all the great information that you'll get from Createx, I just kind of rely on eyeballing my mixes. So I want to mix enough where in case I screw something up, I have extra. So I always start out with this and then I start adding my colors because the colors dilute this down. If it's still too thick, then I'm going to add the reducer to it. So the first thing that I start my golds with, and I don't have a particular color that I use for every time I like to mix, so everything I do is a little different, but I always start my golds with the tequila yellow. So I'm going to throw a lot in there, but if I just use the tequila yellow, then all the designers would say, you know, it's not warm enough. We want it more, you seldom get people that want just the yellow gold. So first I mix that in. If you'll notice, I'm using a plastic mixing stick because if you use the wooden ones, it tends to, dyes in these paints tend to absorb up into the stick and it could alter your color. So probably should be wearing gloves right now because this isn't the easiest to come off, but the airbrush restore takes it right off. So now that's about how much of the yellow I want. So my next one, I'm going to add some grabber orange. And you're probably thinking gold grabber orange. What an idiot. But that might be true, but it's still going to give us an awesome gold. So now we've got it. Looks pretty good in the cup, but then the paint's really thick. So it sometimes, and then I always like the dirt track brown just to take it another level. So if you add too much orange, it's like orange. So I just add some of the dirt track brown. And again, sorry, I kind of eyeball everything. So there's no exact measurements, but as long as it looks like what you want, and I also always pull it up the side of the cup because what you see on the bottom, there's a lot of paint in there. So it looks darker than it really is. You pull it up on the side of the cup, that's more of an idea of what you're gonna get. And you know, that actually looks pretty close. So I think the next step is going to be to spray some. And I've added enough paint where, you know, I don't know if I'll need some reducer, but I think I'm going to throw a, a dash of the 4011 in there. And you'll know if you have enough of the 4050 in it because it won't beat up on the hard, shiny surface. If it beads up and doesn't want to stick, add some more 4050. Okay. So we're going to start again with our 4050. I always start with the 4050 just in, you know, that's going to be the most I use. So got about that much, but you can see that's a pretty thick little mixture in there. Next, we're going to add our color again. Sorry, I can't give you an exact formula because I just eyeball most of the stuff. I've been doing it a while. So mix it up. Sometimes if you put a ton of color, that's enough to dilute it down. But as you can see, that's not going to do it this time. So we'll get our 4011. Yeah, that looks about right. Mix it up. Yeah, still a little bit on the thick side. So I'll give it one more squirt. No, that's pretty close, but I'm going to give it one more shot. But if you over dilute it, you'll end up having to add more of the 4050. But you can never really make a mistake because you can just keep fixing it. And I think that right there is going to be about the right consistency. So now that we've finally finished with the gold and got it masked off, it's going to be our next color. Okay, 
Our next step is I'm going to use this Maker Pro paint. I think this is daylight blue. It's opaque and this is the first non-candy we'll be using, but it covers quick. I want it to stand out and it's going to be in these grooves. It's pretty thick, but you can thin it with distilled water or this Createx 4011, which I have in my hand. So that's what I'm going to use. So again, sorry, no, oh, well, it's four parts this to one part this. I just kind of eyeball what I need. Obviously, I don't thin it as much as I do for spraying because we're going to be brushing. And once we get this mixed to the right consistency, it's thicker than I generally mix stuff. But since we're using a brush, I think this will be perfect. And the next time you see this, We'll be applying it to the helmet.